I'm coming to you today from the University of Texas at Austin research facility, and we're at the Durability Lab. They are doing some cool stuff with all kinds of different construction materials over here. And I've got one of the researchers with me, Anthony, from Building Diagnostics. Anthony, tell me about the test we're talking about today. So we're performing tests on tapes, a variety of tapes out here. We're performing exposure testing, as seen on the right, and shear testing. So the shear testing in particular is, our, is, is what we're working on, what we're looking at today. We're testing a piece of tape across a, a substrate with a one pound net weight below. Um, this test allows us to see how tapes react under shear loads that, that you would typically see on buildings. Very interesting. And you've really got kind of two flavors of tapes here, right, Anthony? We've got some tapes that are uh, kind of joint and seam tapes and then some flashing tapes. And among those, what's the three kind of varieties that you're seeing generally in the marketplace? So our typically uh, joint and seam tape is, is an acrylic tape. And acrylic tapes are asked to span between jo you know, joints and sheathing or um, joints in your, your WRB and are less, less likely to see movement. You also have flashing tapes, which are your common peel and stick uh, modified asphalt tape. And then you have a butyl tapes, which are coming onto the market as kind of an alternative to your modified asphalt tapes. Gotcha. So there's there's some of the older varieties that we've used for many decades. That's that modified asphalt. Butyl, which has probably been around for the last 10 or 15 years. And these acrylics, which are fairly new to the marketplace, I would say even in the last 5 or 10 years. Of those three, tell me how they're performing in the uh, test, especially this one you've got in your hand here, where they've got different substrates and you've got a weight attached to them. So we've tested our tapes on a variety of substrates. This, this here is plywood with an acrylic tape attached. In general, acrylic, acrylic tapes have been our top performers. Mm. Um, the modified asphalt tapes have been less likely to perform well, and the butyl tapes, which fill a similar niche as the modified asphalt tapes, um, kind of perform in the middle. They performed well and, you know, um, are, are a good alternative to the modified asphalt tapes. Yeah, you know, those peel and sticks have a reputation among builders like me that have been in business for a few decades as stick and peels, where you put them on the house today, you come back tomorrow, they've fallen off. And that's kind of what your test has shown, right? That a lot of these modified asphalts, they don't have that long-term stickiness. Especially on, on certain common substrates, the modified asphalts often fail prematurely relative to the other tapes, yes. Tell me about this sample over here. You've got a test wall here with a bunch of different flavors. These are uh, different flashing and joint and seam tapes. And some of these are showing some fish mouthing already. Is that right? Yes, many of the tapes are showing fish mouthing and other kinds of, of um, loss of adhesion at, at various locations. And that's important because if water would hit, hit a wall in, in a condition like this, water could potentially get behind your tape and find the interior of your building. Yeah. and. You know, when it comes to, let's say, modified asphalt, which is going to peel off, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad product or that it's not water or airtight. What it does mean for me as a builder is I need to treat that differently. I need to take care of those areas that could peel off by, let's say, mechanically attaching those. What's the other big takeaway that you, uh, that you see on, on this pull test in particular, Anthony? I think it's important to note that not all tapes perform the same on all substrates. Mm -hmm. In particular, OSB is a difficult substrate to attach, to attach tape to. Um, uh, in general, most of our materials perform the worst on an orient strand board material, and something, that's something that's very common in particularly residential construction like you do. Yeah, that's right. um, so it's very important to watch those tapes, to roll the tapes if they require a primer, to use a primer, yep. and to make sure that, that they're treated, treated appropriately. Yeah, the other takeaway that I saw in here is there's one of these in particular that has that green kind of scrim facer on it. When an acrylic tape is put on that facer, which is actually intended for an acrylic, it looked like that one did pretty well. Yes, and I think, and, and that's the, the important thing to note about tapes. They are often designed to stick to certain substrates or, or certain, certain materials. Whenever, whenever that, that is the case, it works well. You often find, find building conditions where that you can't, you can't follow those guidelines. Yeah. So our testing out here is to, to test these tapes on different substrates under different conditions and see how they work in those situations. Yeah, and Anthony, that's why this research is so vital, and that's why I think builders need an education in building science. And you should definitely read this article when it comes out this winter in Construction Specifier, because there's all kinds of conditions on a job site, and not everything's ideal. And we want to install things to the manufacturer's specifications and to best practices, but when you get to a point where you don't recognize something, that's when you got to draw on your education and say, how, what's the best way to fix this problem? Any last takeaways or anything you want to mention, Anthony, that we missed? I think I, I think it's important. We we spoke on it before, but treat your tapes, roll your tapes, make sure they're well adhered, and use them with compatible products whenever you're able.
Anthony, thanks so much. You guys are doing an amazing job out here. Look for that article. For more information on these guys, look for the link below. We'll have a link to their website. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show. Thank <laughs> you.